Yo, what's up, guys? <clears throat> Ooh, I'm walking to the gym right now. A little chilly, by 30 degrees. I'm gonna get this workout in, obviously. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you the uh, Green Arrow exercise. It's an exercise that I got directly from Stephen Emil, who plays the Green Arrow. So if you just want to see the exercise, um, go to this moment in time right here. But if you don't, I mean, if you do, but you want to watch the whole video, we're doing the video. We're about to go hit, I think we're doing chest and arms, like a little mixture. So, yeah, enjoy the video. What's up, guys? So, um, right now, because it's the uh, Green Arrow workout, you got to look like the Green Arrow. So, I got my little... Short sleeve hoodie, screen, some camo stuff on it that I'm gonna put on. So let's just uh, get this on real quick. Cool. Alright, there we go. Got it on. So now, just need my headband. So I'm now right here. So let's just see if I can just get this on real quick. And, alright, so there we go. Now, next thing, got my sweats on. I don't work out in sweats, I can't do it for some reason. A lot of people like to work out in sweats. So, sweats, but we do have the tights. The tights, obviously. Green arrow workout. Gotta have tights. Alright. <clears throat> now it's time to go work out. Alright, guys, what's up? So, this is gonna be a voiceover from here on out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Those little transitions on the intro been inspired lately, so I've been trying to work on those. I think they're pretty cool. So if you enjoyed those, just leave a thumbs up on the video. So yeah, first things up is a bench pyramid. Um, I decided to do a pyramid so that way I could work in um, volume plus get up to some heavy heavier work. So I just did a 10 8 6, uh, 10, 8, 6 3, 3. The goal was to do a 10 8, 6, 4, 2. However, when I got down to the one for 4, I only did it for 3, and so I decided to do it again. For three, and that was the 305, which you're about to see. So I did uh, 10 reps at 235, 8 reps at 245, 6 reps at 275, and 3 reps of 305, and then 3 more reps of 305. Weight felt pretty good, so that was a solid. Actually, meant to do 235 and then 250, but I totally forgot on my math when I was bench pressing, so. I meant to do the 250 instead of 245, so that happened also, but whatever. Yes, and then I did a close grip bench four sets. Um, the only thing about these is just make sure you find what works for you as far as how close your grip is. I've mixed up uh, my grips uh, width on this so many times, it's just, it happens. So just, yeah, so just find something that works for you on that one, and that would be great. And then we have the one-armed one -armed, uh, dumbbell incline. This is a very advanced exercise. It's very good for forming up your chest, increasing your bench, and stabilizing your core. This one is really hard on the core. So I mean, if you're also trying to work your core, which you should be trying to do, do this one, because it's just amazing on the core. It's more, it's, it's definitely an advanced one. So I would, if you want to do one arm, I would start on a flat bench, and then you can move into an incline. So just like break away up to the incline. <clears throat> it's pretty challenging because you have to stabilize yourself while you move the weight. And it's just really good on your core. And then I supersetted this with my tricep pushdowns. Um, I do my tricep pushdowns a certain way. This is how I do them. So if you like the way these are, I actually made a video about this a few videos back. So check that out. I will link that in the uh, description box. So definitely check out those tricep pushdowns because this is the best way to isolate your tricep during the tricep pushdown. So I did about <clears throat> 12 to 15 reps on the pushdowns. I did, I did that superset four times. Then I went into my eccentric curls. So essentially these are just eccentric curls, uh, isolated. So you just wanna focus on the lowering movement on your bicep, that way you can get a lot out of your bicep. It's been proven that the uh, eccentric part is the best way to actually grow your biceps. Um, I don't do a whole lot of eccentric work, probably because I hate it and it's hard, but you, I definitely do these and these definitely help a lot so do eccentric work for the biceps 
just put your uh, elbows right on your knees and squat down like you see me doing. And I did about 10 reps of these, just really focus on the eccentric part. And then so next up is the um, the green arrow exercise. So this exer exercise is a explosive, basically an explosive upper body movement that really taxes your, honestly I feel this in my, in my arms and my chest. Cause it's basically like an explosive push up. So you get these little boxes, there's eight of them. And you, as you can watch it, you just move it to one place and then back, move it one place and then push up back, push up over and then push up back and then push up over and push up back. It's really hard. It's also <clears throat> really good on like your forearms and your triceps because you have a more closer grip and the grip isn't an even grip. So it's kind of like the, the sides of these boxes are really uneven. And so it's really hard to just get like a full grip on this. It's very hard, very taxing, and eight boxes is really challenging. If you think you're up for the challenge, like go for it, but it is really hard. I enjoy doing it, so definitely check it out. And then obviously after that, I have dips. You know what a dip is. So I superseted these dips with weighted push-ups, which, <clears throat> which at this point, I was my upper body was pretty taxed, so these weighted push-ups were like a lot harder than I thought they would be. But anyway, I haven't done weighted push-ups in a while, so this was solid getting those weighted push-ups in I did uh, this super set three times about 10 to 12 reps each and then after the weighted push-ups I did a curls these are easy bar curls lightweight which you're about to see seeing right now and basically just throw on some light weight and just focus on just trying to restrict the move of my elbow so the majority of the reps were all on my biceps and then I just I didn't even count reps I just went forever um, well not forever obviously, but um, I just went for about, I ended up getting around like 30 reps for each one. Uh, I did this about three times, and I love to do this as a finisher on arm day, but because it was part of this little, whole little like superhero workout kind of upper body thing, threw it in there with that. And then I finished off with hanging abs, which is the, one of the best ab exercises you can do when very difficult. Um, did about this full four sets of 12 to 15 reps, really moved it. So yeah, if you liked this little upper body workout superhero workout green arrow exercises leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and hope you enjoyed